We lost the dice row, so we get to go second. Opening hand is a little iffy. Actually, quite a bit iffy, but I think we're going to try it. The bog is going to help a little bit. We have we have a few uh, t tries here to draw a swamp. Next turn, we can play Ice Quake, I suppose. You know, it's funny, the blue... Oh, whoa, is that a snow-covered land? <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. I don't know why I'm so excited to deal one damage. I guess I, I never see... I never get to actually utilize the second portion of this land. That's just hilarious. Nice snow-covered lands. There's a swamp. All right, here we go. Boink. Take one damage. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, pass the turn. I'll have four mana next turn. Do I want to use the Befoul? Depends if my opponent... It depends on what my opponent does here. If he plays a land or not. No land in main phase one. Alright, he passes the turn. Okay, well... Mm, let's play the Swamp. And I think I want to just Befoul here to be mana efficient. Just Befoul that land and pass. Next turn we can play Radiant Fountain. Blow up a land if he gets one. If he doesn't, we'll just use Chittering Rats. He gets a land, okay. We don't want to see Delver... Cycles the Ash Barons? Okay. Gets a forest, so, or um, a snow-covered island. He has one in his hand. Play the Radiant Fountain. Gain two. Let's take out that land he's got. Pass the turn. He's got one in his hand, but we do have another Choking Sands. So he's going to play the land here. Yep. And a ponder. Looking for land. Chooses to shuffle. So hopefully he's on the hunt for land here. Hits us for two. Radiant fountains are really good here. Because they help negate the... Uh, fairies. Alright, pass the turn. Probably thinking about casting Gurmag Angler next turn. He's getting in for two. Alright, pass the turn. We get a swamp. Let's see. We can pay two to cast the Gurmag Angler. So we might as well Use, um, let's use, I think, I don't want to use Chittering Rats here. To stop him one turn. Now, let's be a little more mana efficient here. Let's use Knight's Whisper. Alright. Now, now I'll use, I, I shouldn't have played that Swamp. That was a misplay. I should have played the Bog. But we're going to play... Our angler here. Yep. Definitely should not have played the swamp. Also, I should have used that swamp to cast the angler instead of delving for one extra one. It's alright though. He gets an, uh, an island. So, probably should have played shooting rats. Probably definitely could have played that whole turn a little bit better. <laughs> Let's just chalk it up to that. Still kind of learning the deck, though, so it is what it is. He draws his third fairy. We need a land destruction spell, I think. Gets in for two. 
passes a turn. Rancid Earth is pretty good. I can do Rancid Earth and Bog. Let's just do that. Get rid of that land. Unfortunately, we don't have Threshold. That would be sick, because then we'd kill all of his fairies. Play the Bog. Attack in. Should have blown up the land after attacks, but it's whatever. He may block here. Yep. Okay. Goes to attacks. Does he attack? Probably just with one. Oh, he scoops it up. Alright. On to sideboarding. Playing against some fairies. I think Shrivel's good. Better than Snuff Out, I think. I think we want the two Evan cards justice. I think um I think that's just far better than Snuff Out. I also think a Doom Blade is better than Snuff Out. Ooh, Kumbaj Witches is actually really good. I think I want that instead of the Doom Blade. Maybe instead of the Shrivel, too. Kumbaj Witches is actually quite good, isn't it? Maybe I should take out um, Sign and Bloods, because he is a little bit aggro. This seems fine. Maybe one more Sign and Blood. I think this is okay. Because, I mean, he is playing quite a bit of aggro. So, I think playing the Witches is really, really strong against our opponent. But, granted, we only really seen Fairy. Two lands. I think we can try this. I kind of wish this Radiant Fountain was a Swamp. So that we could play our Kumbaj Witches. This art's really amazing, too. Opponent goes down to six. Puts card on top. Plays an island. No turn one? What? Well, we drew our next Swamp, so that's good. I wish I had Dark Ritual here. Turn one land destruction is so good. Uh, looks like he's gonna hold up. <clears throat> he's gonna hold up Counterspell. Um, play Swamp. So he's holding up Counter Magic, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I don't really want to just run into Counter Magic here. Cycles the Ash Barons gets an island. Why is he playing Evolving Wilds? I don't understand why he's playing Evolving Wilds. Maybe to thin the deck? I really don't know. But um, I don't want him to hold up Counter Magic. Yes, he's tapping. Fantastic. Cycling the Ash Barons. Oh, because he played another island. That sucks. Tap your islands! He's really throwing off my tempo, isn't he? Uh, do I make him use it? Do I save it? I gotta make him use it at some point. I have to make him use his lands at some point. Or his uh, counter spells. So we're gonna just fish out that counter spell. Yep. I'm not choosing Rancid Earth because it can sometimes deal damage to the opponent. There's a Delver. Does he have another? He has another counter spell. Dang. Um, what do I want to do here? Just want to Rancid Earth? Or do I want to Goombaj, which is... What, what, what do I want to do? Goombaj, which is, or Rancid Earth? I think I want to use witches. Alright, cast the witches. See if he counters this. Wow, he doesn't. Is he going to snap it? Does the delver flip? Does the delver flip? The delver flips off Scred. Okay, so he's playing red. That's why he... 
He's got the uh, Evolving Wilds. Tap your islands! Tap your freaking islands! I really want to befoul that Delver. Oh my gosh, he's not tapping. Um, one, two, three, four, five mana. I think I just need to try to try to take out his lands here. He's gonna counter it, obviously, but I got to get the cards out of his hand. Um, I mean, at some point, right? And it's still one for one anyway, so it is what it is. He didn't counter it though. That's that's shocking. Should I attack here? I think I am going to attack here. Some might say you should wait till the end of turn to ping a fairy, but I'll just do it on my next turn if it happens. I want to be able to hit him for a bit. And I can't block the Delver, so. He gets in with the Delver. I really want to befoul that Delver. Plays a land. Kumbaj Witches. Let's try to take out that land. He's probably going to counter it. He may he may be waiting on his counter spells to counter anything that tries to kill his Delver. But if he does counter, then that's fine. I know I'm talking in the past. Or I'm talking uh, in the future, as in the past. I'm not how should I word that. Anyway, I like to finish my point. He'll run out of counter spells eventually. I just don't want him to be drawing lands the whole time he's uh, using the counters. So he uses Pyridane. Puts a card on top and a card on top. That's very unfortunate to see. Goes to combat. Gets in for three. We need some lands. We need to draw lands here. Whoa, he's tapping his mana. He's out of counters. Fantastic. Um, Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Kill the fairy with the Kumbaj Witches. And befoul the Delver. If I do this, Dark Ritual. Tap the Radiant Fountain. I can befoul. I'll have one, two, three, four, five. Five cards in the graveyard. Six with the swamp. Oh, man, I'm one card away. I'm one card away from casting the Delver. That sucks. I got to befoul that Delver, though, like right now, or I'm just going to die out from it. It's got to happen. One, two, three, four, five. I could go Rancid Earth Kumbaj Witches and then just double ping the Delver instead of Befoul. Mm, I guess we'll try that. Alright, we'll try it. Alright. We'll give this a go. Should I wait to kill the fairy? I don't think so. I think I can just kill the fairy now. I don't think it's really going to matter. Alright. Pass the turn. So, hopefully our plan works out and we get to kill the Delver with the witches. Or I'm going to be super sad. Come on, no snap. There's a fairy. No vapor snag. There's a land. Gets in with the Delver. Alright. Gotta kill that Delver. Where is our lands? What's happening? Let's take out a land. Yeah. 
Let's take out the untapped land to stop the counter spell. All right. Ping the Delvers, or the Delver. Slow down his clock a bit. All right. Pass the turn. I'm doing it on my turn because he has less mana tapped, or ta untapped. And it stops him from using just shenanigans, you know, like Vapor Snag and Snap, crap like that. And I can't block anyway. If, if, if I was playing against something where I could block, then, you know, I'd wait. He gets in for one. Is this a ninja? It is a ninja. I want some Radiant Fountains. A radiant Fountain would be a great draw. Siphon Life is okay. Radiant Fountain's probably the best draw we could get. Befoul is not the best draw we could get. What do I want to do? Could just cast a Gurmag Angler. He didn't draw a land. I could use Chittering Rats. <laughs> Could do Angler and Night's Whisper. That sounds really close to dead, though. I'm happy I took out those Sign and Bloods. I really need another land. Hmm. Maybe I'll try to... Darn it, I don't know what to do. Angler Knight's Whisper is really is the best, but then I go down to three life. I don't think I can do that. Let's just go with Chittering Rats here. He didn't draw a land last turn, so hopefully we can just delay him a turn. See if maybe we can draw a land and befoul um, one of his lands. Befoul another land and Try to gain control of this game. Could have attacked there with the witches, I guess. There's a preordain. Puts a card on the bottom and a card on the top. Brainstorm. Oh, I want Radiant Fountain. That way I'll gain two life. Put me more at a comfortable seven. Then it turns on... Bef uh, it turns on... Um, Befowl. I'd target his lands with a Befowl, though, I think. I'm not too afraid of the... Um, ninja. He might scred one of my witches here. That makes me super sad. Yeah. Do I want to ping him for one in response? I don't think so. I don't like putting me at four. He's down to three cards. He probably won't attack here. I'm not going to ping him for one. I don't want to go down anymore. There's a swamp. Jeez. Okay. that's that's That makes me feel much better. Let's befoul that mountain. Get that out of here. Pass the turn. Fairy Miscreant. Pass the turn. Okay. Yeah. I kind of like seeing these lands. Makes me happy. Because now I can go Befoul and Gurmag Angler. Should I attack with a rat? I think I can attack with the rat. Uh, 
I think it, I think it, attacking with a rat's fine. I think. I will use the Knight's Whisper next turn if I don't draw anything else. I really want to see him not draw lands. If I can keep him off lands, then I'm okay. It's not an instant shuffle with the bomb. Okay, he does shuffle. Alright, fantastic. Come on, no land. I'm going to kill the fairy here with the Goombaj Witches if I'm given the chance. Because I, I would take one anyway. So, we'll just go ahead and take it out here. All right, let's use the Knight's Whisper. This is very, very, very scary. Ooh, okay. Well, at least he gets rid of his last lands. Go to combat. I think I'm just going to attack in with the Angler. Man, I'm at two life. I don't like it. <laughs> well, there's a dead card, unfortunately. Alright, go to combat. We're just going to attack in with the Angler again. Pass the turn. There's an Evolving Wilds. There's a Chittering Rats. Let's attack. I think I want to attack with both of these. No, that's too, that's chancing it too much. Yeah, I'm just going to attack with this. I'm all, I'm at two life. I don't want to risk. I don't want to risk it. Okay, blocks. Chittering rats gives him a chance to shuffle away something he doesn't want. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go ahead and play it though. I think it's fine. It's whatever. He shuffles away a dead card, but... Meh. It still puts him down a card, so I'm fine with that. He cracks Evolving Wilds. Gets a snow-covered mountain. And scoops it up. I was afraid he might have a lightning bolt or something. There's the radiant fountain that we were waiting for. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. We managed to take it down. It, um, I hope you enjoyed. See ya.